Hey guys, what's going on? We are here with a brand new video, and today I am going to be teaching you guys the basics of smooth terrain on Roblox. Now, smooth terrain is a very big step from parts. Because parts are just <sighs> simple shapes, but smooth terrain is natural, if you want to say it that way, but yeah so let's all get, get started so the first thing you're gonna want to do is open this editor in your area so just hit the editor and bam so we're gonna talk about these tools first so generate generates you a random map size i'm gonna generate a map size how i'm gonna generate a map size 40 by 40 by 40 just to make it short. Generate. Bam, see it just generated this little thing. This tiny thing it generated. Let's generate another one. Okay, and the clear tool clears all terrain in the world. That's a, generate, bam. It generated some terrain. That's what the generate tool does. You pick your size and positions of stuff and yeah. That's what the generate tool does. Clear. So technically you can make a whole map if you want just by generating. It's pretty cool. And import. Uh, I, I know pretty much nothing about import. So yeah. Don't use that one. Alright now regions. Regions is one of the most important tools. You select button. If you select a certain amount of area somewhere. And you scale it up you can move it move your area you can resize your area you can rotate your area and you can copy and paste so you can also fill it up with grass or any other material bang and you can still move this grass around and you can also um you can also resize the grass if you wanted to you can copy and paste and move the pasted one over here regions is just amazing for making maps and stuff then you can resize this maybe over a bit and bang you got your stuff you just exit the region tool and bang you're you're done with regions it's pretty much the basics of regions. I mean, there's not too much to know about re regions, but the edit one has a bunch of stuff. So now that we've got our base terrain here, I'm going to show you guys what all these do. So the add tool does exactly as it sounds. It adds whatever material you have. It just adds a bunch of it. That's what this does pretty much. It just adds a bunch of stuff. And um, that's what the add tool does. You can also pick shapes of what you want. It to do, you can change the size of everything. Like you can have bang, 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 bang. I mean, you can do that. You can do everything with these tools. And the subtract tool does exactly as it sounds. It literally just deletes things. If I it just deletes things automatically pretty much and the grow tool is like the add tool but it looks more natural so you can make like hills with the grow grow tool very well it just makes things look more natural using the grow tool like let's say i want to get in between there also if you cha make it really big bam you got a hill right there Bam, another hill. Bam. So you just want to walk over a small little hill, or maybe you want the hill a bit bigger. Bang. You got a hill right there. Right there, you got a hill. I mean, it's pretty simple. The, uh, the grow tool is pretty simple, but very effective. Now, the erode tool is pretty much the opposite of the grow tool. It doesn't aut it doesn't delete things exactly automatically, but it, it, it lowers them and eventually it will delete them. 
So you just erode some terrain, make a little hole, bang, bang, bang. Bang, see, an iron. But eroding is just, it just gets rid of instead of grows. It's like, grow is like add but less strong and erode is like subtract but more natural pretty much. That's, that's what these tools are. And then the smooth tool, smooth things out. I, I really like this for making hills and landscapes. So like, let's see. Like this is like a big hole. We smooth it out a bit. Change it into a bit smaller hole but makes it more natural looking. Flatten. I don't use this tool often, but it, it just flattens things. As you can tell, it just flattens everything that goes over. Which makes everything flat, which I don't use often. But yeah, there's also a few modes for flatten mode. Uh, going down with flatten. See, there we go. See, that's flattening out. Or going up with flatten. Up with flatten. Down with flatten. That's what flatten is. I mean, it just flattens things. Pretty much. Now, the pivot position. If it's on top, the edge is going to be on the top, and you're not going to really see this that much. Center, it's going to be in the middle, and bottom, it's going to be on the top. I know it sounds weird, but it is. Ignore water. If this is unchecked, you'll affect the water. If it's if it's checked, it will not affect the water. Now, paint. Paint is a quick way of just slapping a texture on part of the terrain. Let's say I wanted to do wood planks right here. Bang, wood planks. I just painted it. Cobblestone. Make a cobblestone path. Use paint. Just like that. I mean, that's pretty simple. Painting is one of the most simple tools out there. You can change the size of the paint. If you want to make the whole thing like that. You can change everything, bro. Uh, I'm going to turn this back into grass, though, because I really don't like that. Now... The next tool is sea level. Sea level is pretty much just a quick way of adding tons of water to your game. Let's do it up to here. And let's create. And bam, you got water. Just a bunch of random water. Evaporate, it's gone. Create, it's there. A bunch of random water. Now, water has a bunch of different properties than most terrain. Alright, so I'm gonna exit this. Oh, jeez. Oh, and also, there's like this grid that it goes on. So you can go, like, do some random stuff. Like, I'm gonna do my signature. Aw, oh, that didn't work. But you can do some random stuff with this. With these tools in the air and stuff. But these are, these are just really good for making realistic and cartoony games. But let me undo that. Okay, yeah, there's no one doing that. Um, but yeah, sea level also. Now, if we go into terrain right here, this is also a very important part. Here's where your water properties are. Now, if I get out of this terrain tool, this is where the water properties. So, if you go into water, you'll see it change. Water transparency. Uh, right. Also, decoration. Decoration adds real grass to all your grass terrain. Bang. Look at that. Also, you can't undo it, so be careful when you do that. But your water, water reflectance, you can change how reflective your water is. I like to do it at one transparency, and I like to do reflectiveness just somewhere in the middle. And then, I like to color the water white. Okay, not that white, like in the middle, like here. And that, that just gives me very realistic water. Then you can also do water wave size. Bam, the waves are 
bunch bigger water wave speed you can change the speed so it's like that or you can make it so it's not moving at all which is really creepy and weird which I don't like so I'm gonna do it at 10 also if you go into terrain you go deep bounce right and you go into material colors down you can change all the colors of the materials so the grass I usually like my grass to be like a bright green but with a little bit of blue in it because it looks cool and cartoony and bam look at that your grass is a different color Where, where's my decoration there we go but um you can change everything like this is cement where's cement can't find some concrete concrete I can change concrete to uh, red all right bam I can change the grass to red or pink pink too all right whoa look at all these cool colors it's rainbowing oh, also white I'm gonna give it a tint of blue and go over to the green side and up bang look at that grass i mean the terrain tool you could do so much with it but anyways that's probably gonna be it for this video guys i'll see you guys in the next video i please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video i'll see you guys in the next video bye